Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. Till now, we were discussing the criteria for congruency of triangles. We have studied four criteria of congruency of triangles. Anybody can say the answer? What were the four criteria? First one was SSS congruence criteria. Then the second one was SAS congruence criteria. Then third one ASA congruence criteria and the last one RSS congruence criteria. Based on these four criteria we were discussing do the triangles are congruent or not. Today we can discuss some more problems based on these four criteria. So today we can discuss exercise 7.2 question number 1. First question says that which congruence criterion do you use in the following? They have given data like this AC equal to DF, AB equal to DE, DC equal to EF. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And they have given two triangles like this ABC and triangle D, E, F. They have said that. So we have to find out which is the criterion. SSS, SAS, ASA or RHS. We should select one from these four. Okay. AC equal to DF. AC equal to DF. AB equal to DE. AB equal to D, E, then B, C equal to E, F. B, C equal to E, F. From these, clearly we can say that which should be the criteria. See, three sides. They have given three sides. So, we should select the criterion S, S, S criterion. So, answer is Which criteria do you use? SSS criteria. SSS criteria is our answer. For question number B, they have given three data. Zx equal to RP, RQ equal to ZY, angle P, RQ equal to angle XY, XZY. So, triangle PQR is congruent to triangle XYZ. So, we have to find out which should be the criterion for using this congruency. So, first I am going to draw two triangles. Triangle PQR and triangle. In the question, they have given the triangles. Triangle XYZ. Z. They have given that Zx equal to Rp. So I am going to mark Zx. This side is equal to Rp. Then Rq equal to Zy. Rq equal to Zy. Then one more angle. Angle PRQ. Which is a angle PRQ? PRQ. This is the angle. This is equal to angle X, Z, Y. X, Z, Y. See? They have given two sides. Two sides and the included angle. Okay. So, we have to use. Which is the used criteria over here? S, A, S. S, A, S criteria says that two sides and included angle. Here too they have used two sides and the included angle. So the criteria used for this congruency is SAS congruence. So this is the answer. For question number C they have again given three data. They are Angle M L N is equal to angle F G H. See, these are the two triangles. Angle M L N. M 
L M. So this is the angle is equal to angle F G H. In the other triangle F G H. So this is the angle. These two angles are equal. Then second angle. Angle M. Angle N M L. Angle N M L. So this is the angle is equal to angle G F H. G F H. These two angles and these two angles are equal. One more data they have given like this. Sin M L. So this side is equal to F G. These two sides are equal. So from this two angles and included sides are equal to two sides and the included side of the other triangle. So which should be the criteria? You can select. Which criteria you should select? This one, third one. Two angles and included sides. So the criteria used for solving this problem is ASA criteria. So I can write down the answer. ASA criteria. Okay. For question number D, they have given three data and the triangle is like this. EB equal to DB. What is EB? EB is equal to DB. So these two sides are equal. AE equal to BC. AE equal to BC. These two sides are equal. Then one more data they have given. Angle A equal to angle C equal to 90 degree. This is angle A. Since it is a right angle, I have drawn it like this. And equal to angle C. This is also 90 degree. So, the side opposite to the right angle. Here A is the right angle. And the side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. And here too. The side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. These two hypotenuse are equal. And we got one more pair of sides. And these two triangles are right triangles. So which should be the criteria? By hearing these three conditions, which should be the criteria? Triangles are right angle, hypotenuse equal. One more pair of sides equal. So RHS Criteria is used here for proving the congruency of triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDB. These two triangles are congruent. So criteria is RHS criteria. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about these questions, Please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off for me, Joy from Max Ninja.